Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team. Today, I'm in the town of Speedway, Indiana. Now, Speedway's obviously famous for being the home of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and the greatest spectacle in racing. However, the town of Speedway is not just one big race, one time a year. It was founded in 1912, just uh, three years after the Indianapolis Motor Speedway was built. And one of the reasons it was built is, or developed, was it is uh, close to downtown, being just five miles away, and there was a lot of factories nearby, and hey, they needed housing for the workers. One of those plants was Allison Engines, which is now Allison Transmission, but there's still just a lot of jobs here. If you look up and down this street here of Main Street, You've got a lot of pubs and restaurants, but down there you also have a number of uh, factories and other employment opportunities. In fact, major employers. Many involve the motorsports industry. You've got racing teams and garages and, hey, other automotive factories. Heck, it's even the headquarters of the uh, U.S. Auto Club. Rolls-Royce is nearby. It employs 4,000 people and uh, just recently completed its largest financial investment in North America in the last 25 years. The location here certainly helps with jobs and tourism, so let's take a look at the map. The town of Speedway is bordered on the west by uh, I-465, which is the Beltway. And once you're on it, you can go anywhere in the metropolitan area in no time flat. We're also just a hop, skip, and a jump to, oh, I-65, I-74, I-70, and I-69. I mean, Indianapolis truly is the crossroads of America, and Speedway is right at the heart of it. The town of Speedway is truly a convenient location. I mean, it's only 15 minutes to the Indianapolis uh, International Airport, which is an easy one to get in and out of. And we're also only, like I said, five miles to downtown, uh, where you can go see the NFL uh, Indianapolis Colts play, the Indy 11 soccer, NBA Pacers, uh, WNBA Fever. Hey, you can go check out Caitlin Clark with her uh, record-setting year. But hey, if you don't want to go that far, all you got to do is just come down here to Main Street in Speedway, Indiana. There are a lot of pubs and restaurants and shops and craft breweries. And like I said, down here, you even got a lot of jobs. And right here, you got a whole slew of new uh, luxury apartments. You can check out Dawson's here on the corner, or you can come down the street here to uh, barbecue and uh, bourbon, hey, and tough guess on what uh, they serve, or over to uh, Tacos and Tequila for, hey, another tough guess. Uh, down the street is the Daredevil Brewing Company, and uh, or you can go to uh, Big Woods and get uh, one of those uh, famous beers, the Six Foot Strawberry Blonde. You can find a few of those in my refrigerator, uh, the beer, not the blonde. Like I said, the town of Speedway, Indiana is a lot more than just one big race each year. When people are looking at communities, one of the things that's uh, usually important to a lot of people is the school systems. And the town of Speedway does not disappoint. The Speedway public school system uh, has 1,800 students served in four elementary, one junior high, and one high school. And the high school here has just 500 plus students. So that can be uh, of great appeal to some parents. And that's especially a case when you hear this. The uh, entire public school system is graded A by niche.com and it is ranked, get this, number 11 out of 290 public school systems in the state of Indiana. Again, the town of Speedway is a lot more than just one big race each year. And hey, if diversity is your thing, Speedway school system is ranked the number three most diverse school system in the state of Indiana. Hey, maybe your kid might want to be a spark plug. So if you're considering moving here, you're going to want to pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. Hey, if we're talking uh, Speedway, Indiana, we've got to talk auto racing. Home of the uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway and the Indianapolis 500 Auto Race. Sportscasters call it the greatest spectacle in racing. There's uh, something like three to 400,000 people in attendance and it's televised to over 200 nations worldwide. It is the uh, world's largest single day sporting event and it just consumes the city. The festivities begin on January 1st, believe it or not, and uh, just keep on going. They call it the month of May because, hey, it takes the whole month to put this production on. There's a uh, rookie orientation, there's practice, there's uh, qualification, there's something called bump day, there's carb day, there's concerts, and there's even the 500 uh, parade, which is the third largest uh, parade in the United States. On race day, 33 drivers line up 
and run 200 laps on the two and a half mile oval. It's so big that the Brickyard Golf Course has five holes inside of the track. The first race was in 1911, and the race day is just steeped in tradition. Both individual, every family and every uh, group has their own tradition, and then the whole production has all sorts of tradition. The winning drivers uh, chug a quart of milk and then kiss the bricks at the crossing line. After that, they're good to hoist the 110 pound Borg Warner trophy and collect a really fat check. It's so challenging that in over 100 years, only five drivers have won it back to back and none have done a three-peat. The speeds have topped 237 miles per hour, and so it's no wonder that names like A.J. Floyd and Bobby Unser and Elio Kinsteneros are uh, household names in the city of Indianapolis. Hey, if you're not a race fan, hey, there's no worries. Come join the party. People from around the world flock here on race day, or should I say race weekend, and the party action is almost as fast as what goes on on the track. Hey, why not start your own tradition? But after all is said and done, the IMS plays host to dozens and dozens of events throughout the year. In fact, it's crazy just how many days you can hear cars out here circling the track. We've got Ferraris on the track today. Show you a little action here in just a second. But you can see crowds here for all sorts of reasons. Heck, the uh, Indy Half Marathon even has run the uh, final laps or the final leg of their race around the track. Throughout the year, there's all sorts of testing done with all sorts of different vehicles and time trials and race prep and oh, just so many different things that go on here at the track. Back behind me here is the uh, IMS Museum. That's kind of fun too. You get to go in and see some of the old original cars and stuff on all the different drivers and all the things that uh, have to do with the tradition of the uh, Indianapolis 500 and the other races that are held here. I mentioned earlier that the uh, Brickyard uh, Crossing Golf Club has five holes inside of the track. And that's true. This golf course is a deluxe one and it's a challenging one too. When my uh, stepson was playing uh, high school and college golf, he played a number of tournaments here. It was always fun to uh, come out here and walk this course uh, watching him. Um, it's a tough course. You want to bring your A game. And the Brickyard Crossing Golf Club is just one more reason why the town of Speedway is more than just one big race. Hey, moving on. We're going to talk real estate in the town of Speedway, Indiana. After all, this is a uh, real estate channel. The population of the town of Speedway now exceeds 14,000 people. 46% are homeowners, and there were 118 homes sold here in the past 12 months. They ranged in price from 100 and a quarter to 367, and the median was right around 260,000. Today, let's check out this one at 1119 Allison. It's a bit less than the median price, as it, the, the asking price on this one is just 235. It's a charming three bedroom, one bath, 936 square foot Cape Cod that was built in 1951. It's seen a lot of upgrades, and uh, it appears to be have been well taken care of. It's got an open concept and uh, some charm that you'll like to go along with it. It's got a one car oversized garage plus a fenced in backyard to enjoy. Now this one is listed by the Stewart Home Group, but FYI, I can help you with any home that's for sale in the state, whether it's listed by myself or any other broker or heck, a FISBO for that matter. If you'd uh, like to see this home or any other, just give me a quick call or text and I'll be glad to uh, take good care of you. Now, if you have a home to sell in order to buy your next home, be sure to watch this next section because I guarantee you, it will make you money. You know, I'm a former contractor and uh, if I don't know something about a house as we're walking through it, what you might be able to do in terms of uh, opening it up or making repairs or fixing something that just looks uh, god awful or you just wanna make it your own, uh, let me know and uh, I'll be glad to help you sort that out. Um, also, more likely than not, I know a guy. I've got a stable of good contractors that are reliable, work for a good price and get the job done. And heck, they can go into a house uh, if you like most of it, but want something done to make it just right for you. They can go in and have that done before you even move in. Okay, enough said. You make it a great day now. Coming up is my latest monthly market update with actionable data to fuel your real estate success. 
Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate bringing you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. Hey, the numbers are in for July and I can tell you we're seeing a late summer surge. And you know what? I didn't have to look at the Board of Realtor numbers to know that. All I had to do was look at my own business. This past month, I spent 10 days in the Canadian wilderness. We were six hours from the nearest town. We had no cell phone service, no Netflix, if you can imagine, and no Wi-Fi. In fact, we had no running water, no furnace, no central air, and the only electricity we had came from a generator. But hey, I had a lot going on business-wise, so I did something I've never done before. I went and rented a Starlink satellite. And you know what? I was able to sell a house, a duplex, and a 66 acre piece of prime development ground. So when I got home, I had a busy month this past month closing transactions. And the surge did not let up. But hey, enough about me. Let's dive into those numbers. For the 16 county central Indiana area, prices are up 2% from a year ago and closings and new listings were both up. Homes are selling in 13 days on average versus like 11 days a year ago, and they're selling at just 1% less than list price on average. Inventory remains tighter than we'd like to see, but get this, it's 24% better than a year ago. Now that's a huge win. In Hamilton County, the median price is down 2%, but closings and new listings, they showed great improvement. They pushed inventory up a whopping 28%. And homes are selling now in 11 days versus seven days a year ago. And they're going off at just about 1% below asking price. So what's working in the real world? Here's what I've seen. For sellers, I found that being a little bit flexible and putting a deal together and a whole lot patient has resulted in deals going down. We were able to put that two and a half million dollar land deal together with a whole lot of creativity, but it sold for cash and get this, it went down in an amazingly short period of just 34 days. And on that duplex, we won the inspection battle. And with that house, we were both patient and creative and did a workaround on the FHA anti-flipping rule. Okay, on the buy side, the difference between winners and losers this past month, drum roll, the winners came ready to play. They had their minds right. So when they did find the house that they were looking for, they didn't hold back. They didn't get all squeamish. They didn't have to think about it. They knew they'd found the house and they wanted it. So we went to work. We wrote up offers that were the most attractive to the seller, but that didn't give our side away. And then we just rolled up our shirt sleeves and went to work to bring that deal home. Now, if you'd like that kind of service, just give me a quick call or text and make it a great day now. If you're considering relocating to the greater Indianapolis area or moving anywhere within central Indiana, be sure to tune in every week to learn all there is to know about real estate and living in Indiana. Whether you're buying or selling, please keep in mind, I work harder to make good things happen. Hey, make it a great day now. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to watch this next clip right now.